For today's Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created the rapid zoom effect that you just watched that can be used for concert recaps, festival after movies, YouTube videos, you name it. It's actually really simple, and there are numerous ways to modify certain variables to tie your clips together and make it your own. Also, a quick note, something that will make your zoom in transitions a little more seamless is by using clips that have a similar location, subject, color, or exposure. And in this case, every clip in my example is from the same same rehab B2B Afrojack set at EDC. By using clips like these, it will help tie your clips together and make the whole animation look more fluid and seamless. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is put all of your clips you want to use back to back on the timeline, just like on my timeline currently. Every one of my 22 clips after the intro clip is 6 frames long and features some sort of action by the DJs or the stage production, like when the pyro or fireworks go off. That said, you can always change the duration later but I recommend your clips being between 3 to 7 frames long for that rapid zoom effect. Now all of these clips are already set up for the zoom effect, so I actually have another sequence with two 6 frame clips for us to use for this tutorial. As you can see in this first clip, there are fireworks going off in the background. First we're going to head over to the effects panel and search for transform. And then we'll drag the transform effect from the distort folder onto the first clip. Now in effect controls, while on the first frame of the clip we're working on, we're going to toggle a keyframe for scale under the transform effect. Make sure it's not the default scale underneath motion. Now we'll use our keyboard and move over 5 frames, and I'll increase the scale to 200. This is another one of those variables that you can change to whatever works best for you and the video project you're working on. Every single clip in this example sequence zooms in from 100 to 200, so you have a good visual for how this looks. But we don't want this to be the final frame of this clip. Even though it's going super fast and hardly anyone will notice, we want every clip to end on a bang. To do this, first drag the playhead back to the first frame of the clip. Now back in effect controls, under the transform effect, toggle a keyframe for position, and it should appear in the first frame just like your scale keyframe. Then by using this go to next keyframe arrow for the scale parameter, we'll jump over to exactly where we need to make our position adjustments. I want this clip to end where we can see the top of these fireworks. And now that the scale and position animations have been added, the next thing we'll want to do is add motion blur. And to do this, while still in effect controls, we'll uncheck use composition shutter angle, and then you can adjust the shutter angle to your liking, with 0 being the least amount of blur and 360 being the most amount. I tried a couple of options including 360 which was way too much blur as you can see right now and I found that 100 was the sweet spot for me. At this point the entire animation is pretty much complete. Now you can technically right or double click the transform effect in effect controls to copy it and then paste it onto the effect controls of another clip to save time. Just keep in mind that the position keyframes might need to change for the new clip as I'm doing right now. Now back in our original sequence, you can see that I added a few sound effects and a riser to make the rapid zoom effect more immersive, and I color corrected and graded all of the clips at once with adjustment layers. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing guys. If you want to learn the fundamentals of keyframes on a beginner level, hop over to this video on your screen now. But if you're more interested in new ways to make your recap videos or after movies stand out, hop over to this video instead, regardless of which video you choose. I'll see you there.